Hello everybody, welcome to day 31, where we are getting the glass we smelted so we can finish that cactus farm. Now, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make a confession, everybody. I'm down bad. For working on the cactus farm? Haha, <laughs> you thought you were gonna get me, didn't you? You, 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 you thought that was, that was coming anyway. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're just gonna finish up the cactus farm. There's really nothing major to say about this day other than we are now growing my family tree. That's 100% a joke. My family tree is not a cactus. But we just, we need to finish the cactus farm. So, we're just gonna do a bunch of that. And, honestly, nothing else really we do today. It's just cactus farm. Hopefully. If I can stop forgetting stuff like a stupid, like the barrel I need, and another chest for, you know, the hopper, and stuff like that. So, just keep your eye on these, and just watch how this goes. So you have the sand arranged like that, and then you have the barrel, then you come around the side, and you put in the hopper. If I had buckets, I could show you how you place the water. Basically, on the side with the hopper, you go on the opposite side. You go, like if the this side was the front, right here, then you put them in the two back corners. And that's all you do. You need two buckets of water, and like the side I'm on, in each of those, in, in these two corners, that's where you place the water. Because... The water perfectly flows to that block the hopper's on if you put it in the two back farthest corners. So, that's where you put the water. I need to get the water. I don't know why I'm wasting time not getting the water. Because you need to put the water there. That's exactly where the water goes. But I also need more sand to smelt. Because we're out of glass again. So, let's finish up the glass, and we're just going to wait. I'm just going to wait, so I'll cut to when we have more pink glass. Oh, hey, we have glass, and we're finally putting the water in this farm before I completely seal it up. So, as you can see, this is how you place the fences. Now, I don't have fences, do I? Actually, yes, I do. No, I don't. Never mind, never mind. I do not have fences. But you need fence to break the the cactus. Because when it grows, it detects a block next to it. And it says, oh, I can't grow here. And it self-destructs. And it's kind of hilarious. So we need a couple more fences. We just need, like... We just need four of them, really, like... Let's say you have a 2x2, two two, this 2x2 two two group here. Technically, you can just do that on each of them. And you have all the cactus needs to break. Just that fence post right there. And you're good. And unfortunately, we lost a cherry plank. RIP in the chat, everybody. No, I'm kidding. But this is how you place the water. In these corners. So grab another bucket of water, and boom, whoops, uh, ha-boom, and just like that, it goes up to the hopper, but not exactly on the hopper, but it will get the items where they need to go if they fall in the water, and not onto the cactus, but there's a little loss with this farm because, you know, cactus can destroy items that are thrown into it, like netherite, which is just awful. That's just awful. But we are just waiting on the rest of the glass or the more cactus to grow or something so I can fill in the farm. Because we only had three cactus. And until I get more cactus, we can't really do nothing. So it's just... It is what it is, but I made myself a new sword, because I needed a new sword for harvesting the bamboo, because, and then I made myself a couple shields, because right now, we are prepping 
to go into the caves. Tomorrow we are going back into the caves because we need to hunt for witches. I cannot get a brewing stand on my own. Brewing stands require blaze rods and cobblestone and because blaze only spawn in nether fortresses we can't get blaze rods. No blaze rods, no potions, no curing a Gerald. So take that as you will again because I've said it before but ugh, I need I need witches to weaken a Gerald so I may cure him. And then we can a Jenny so I can cure her, and we can start making babies and getting ourselves a village. Because I need villager trades. Like, I'm doing well enough on my own, but not having villager trades is a little irritating. Because I don't like to waste diamonds on an enchanting table. I like to just skip straight to the good stuff. I skip the foreplay of the enchanting through the table, and I just go for the books I want. I abuse trading sticks to a Fletcher and iron to toolsmiths to get emeralds for enchanted books. And honestly, that is the greatest way. Also, setting up a crop farm like I have, the food items to farmer villagers. It's just that simple. Because... You need to be able to make emeralds, and if you don't have an infinite trading data pack like there are on the internet, then you can't really trade very efficiently because they stop at a certain point. And we all know that. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to explain like how the mechanics work. No, we all know that. So you set up entire rooms with glass traders. If you are like Luke the Notable and have librarians and cartographers buy in his glass or his glass panes. You buy glass from the librarians and then you make the panes to trade to the cartographers. And that makes you some good emeralds. Or actually it doesn't. Because you need to buy the glass. No, you can... I think you can sell glass panes. To, no, you can't sell glass panes to librarians. I don't know what I'm trying to tell you, but trade paper to both, and then glass panes to cartographers. But you just need a good source of emeralds if you do it like I do, and I can do that. But, unfortunately, we are now able to get all of our glass, dye it pink... Or put it away, actually. We're putting it away for now. Because we need to be able to sleep and end the day so we can go back to the caves.